Hello, Leo, and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for Leo. If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, or however it resonates with you. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Let's see. Okay. That's beautiful. Huge decision. Okay. This will create a lot of change for you. It's it's sudden, but it's happening. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um so lots of things going on here. Uh, before we dive too deep into the love reading, I do want to uh, say that I will be reading the career reading after the love reading for those of you that are interested. And then we will take a look at what the universe wants to say and get you an oracle card as well. So the, the, I feel like just all of a sudden, um, something new is happening here for you. And I feel like you don't want to lose yourself in this situation. So you're going to be uh, kind of holding back and communicating. We got the Page of Cups here and the Page of Wands here. Now, there's a person that's suddenly going to be showing you romantic interest. You're going to keep it on the lighter, flirtier side. They're going to be more uh, emotional, I feel. So you got a little bit, a couple different communication styles going on, but it's simply because you are not um, just putting it out there too quickly because it's very evident that you got burned the last time you did that. The last time you just said, okay, take my heart. Some of you may have actually had to go to therapy because of the last situation that you were in. That's just for a handful of you. That's what I'm seeing. But when love comes walking in, um, sure, let's see, let's see where this goes. I mean, there's attraction here. Um, but is, is this person going to be able to... Is this what it's meant to be? Is this person right for you? Is this a wish fulfillment? Well, there's going to be a lot of talking. So you're going to be able to find that out. But they are here um, wanting to talk to you, wanting to show you romantic interest with this page of cups. But there are certain things that you want to see and want to know if you know, to find out if there's going to be success here. If they're keeping things from you, you're going to find out about it. So there's going to be a thorough examination of this particular individual to see exactly what you're dealing with. Because whoever you were dealing with before really did a number on you. And now that you have are in control in, in your power and your mind is clear, and you're ready to move forward into something new, um, you're just going to go about it in a smarter way. That's what I'm seeing here. Just a little bit more careful. So, and that's okay. So, the tides are turning in regards to your love life. This is a positive shift, and you need one. Fate, destiny, it's, it's changes here in a good way. Good karma. Things are happening. So that's beautiful, Leo. That's absolutely beautiful. And it's, yeah, this is what I was talking about before. Whoever you were tangled up with before really did a number on you. 
they left not several scars on your heart. I feel like you really tried with this person and you continued to put your, your, your everything into it and you just kept getting hurt. So you've had to take a moment to heal from this. Three of Swords here. So are you ready? Are you ready for a positive shift in your love life? Are you ready for something new? Because they're coming. The universe thinks, um, you got the Wheel of Fortune here. The universe thinks you're ready. Do you think you're ready? So here's the thing. Yeah, you, you, want, you would love some new love in your life. It's, they're going to be on a faster track than you are. Okay? And I know that's wild saying that to a Leo. Um, but they're going to be on a much faster track than you are. So we got the fool here. This is not what you're going to be doing. You're not going to just leap into it, you know, and be foolish about this choice. Because it is a big choice. It is a big decision to allow someone to get to know you, um, uh, you know, start fresh, start over in a new relationship, start dating again. It's, you know, but you've learned your lessons. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I've been doing uh, quite a few videos. <laughs> you've learned your lesson and you're nobody's fool. Um, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in their chart. And I feel like you, you want someone special, right? And you're, you're still in like the tail end of a healing situation, but you're, you're looking strong here. So you're not going to just dive in into anything. You're going to let those stars align. And you're going to let what's meant to happen, happen instead of just, you know, jumping in and forcing something. That's what I want to say. So is this person who you want, who you are wishing for? You have had to recover from heartache with that three of swords there and very very difficult energies and there was always conflict there was always control there was always ego involved fear involved um and you've had to recover from this like i said i feel like you've went your rounds with this person uh, more than once and it left you completely de depleted where you had to take a minute and get your mind right get your emotions right and really think about things with that four of swords there swords are our thoughts so this person that's coming in is going to create a huge change in your life you can be dealing with a scorpio or someone with scorpio in their chart and i feel like it's time all right so death to always new beginnings scorpio energy um there's the new beginning right there. So I just feel like you're going to take it slow on this new journey and allow the trans transformation to happen in a more organic way. And that is via a lot of communication. But I feel like they're going to want to go faster than you. You're in control here. It's a huge decision to let someone new in your space. And this person, um, I feel they will respect that. So you could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. It's going to take a lot of communication. It's going to take some time to see with that sword there, right? So you got that sword there and you got that sword over here. And it's to see if they're a good fit, if they're a nice balance for you and that they are not just another karmic lesson for you because you went through it but that karmic debt is paid and it's time for change 
So, like I said before, you're not going to go about it this way. You're not going to just jump in. You're going to see if things align uh, just right for the two of you. And you're going to keep your thought, a lot of your thoughts and a lot of your deep emotions to yourself. You're going to be very protective of your heart and you're going to use your intuition. When this person talks, you're going to be able to read between the lines because at this stage of the game, Leo, you can read a red flag from outer space. You know? Yeah, that's how many lessons that you have learned. So, Knight of Swords energy, here they come. Here they come like a bat out of hell. And they will um, be very honest. That's what I want to say with this Knight of Swords, but you're not going to see them coming. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise to you. You know, that Van Halen song keeps running through my head. When love comes walking in, boom, here they are. And you're going to say, okay, am I ready for this? Am I strong enough for this? Can I do this again? Um, is this just another, you know, some more karmic bullshit? I don't think so. I feel this is a turning. This is the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is a turning of the tides for you. And the universe would not give you something that you're not ready for. You could be dealing with another Leo. But I feel like you're going to keep it light and flirty and fun until you really get to know this person. I mean, it's that simple. And so, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. And you're going to thoroughly examine this person. And you're going to read between the lines when they speak, like I said before. And, you know, if, if they want you to take them seriously, they will have to go at your pace that you're comfortable with. Please clarify the page of wands for Leo. This is for Leo. Please clarify the page of wands for Leo. So you're going to be like back and forth about it, but here they are. They're just like, love me, Leo. <laughs> right? They want this. So Knight of Cups here. Yeah. And you're going to be like, ah, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. I'm go I Give me a minute to find out. But they will respect your wishes, okay? So, very emotional decision for you, especially the hell that you've been through. It is. It can be very emotional to step back into a situation. But, the, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is here. And you're not... You're, I feel like you'll take a leap of faith, but it's going to be an educated leap of, leap of faith like I say sometimes, all right, you're not, you're not going to just jump into the fire. That fire is going to be a slow organic build, but they want this, just so you know. All right, um, let's take a look at your career. I see change, and I see sudden change, uh, but do not worry because this is a bit of a course correction for you. And you're tired anyway. Okay, you're tired anyway. So I do feel like um, a decision is made and this place where you are at may not be able to help that decision. Um, it's like they were trying to fight to keep everything going and they kind of lost the battle. It's kind of like an official thing. I don't know if they were having legal problems or whatever, but it's it's uh, a decision that is kind of out of everybody's hand. Maybe they're in financial trouble or something like that, but a decision nonetheless. And I do see a loss here. And I do see, you know, it, you're tired of, of the situation anyway. And I do see 
I'm walking away, okay? And it's a sudden change, so be prepared for that. But I feel like you've got a little bit of a secret plan going in case shit hits the fan because it's hitting the fan. And maybe some of you um, have kind of seen this coming. It, and I do feel like it's going to be a loss. But there's something even better coming in for you. And maybe you've had this kind of in your back pocket, some of you. Like you've kept it under wraps just in case this thing falls apart. Um, and it's, it's all about timing. It's time for this transition. It's time for change, okay? It's time for something new. It's time for you to explore something new. The stars are aligning for you. So definitely a course correction here. Um, maybe some of you see it coming. Maybe some of you don't. Um, but it's like you've, you've got other things brewing behind the scenes with this high priestess here, okay? So here it comes. Sudden change. All right, sudden change. Um, can you handle? Can you handle this? Yes, you can handle this. And I feel like once this this happens, different offers are coming in for you. Different offers. So I feel like you're going to have room for negotiation on where you want to go, um, where you want to be. These types of things. So all of a sudden, sudden change where you're at, tired anyway, and I feel like you got a little something in your back pocket, and all of a sudden, you know, one thing ends and then all these offers start flowing in for you, and it's not going to be, it's not going to take long. You're going to land on your feet, and not only are you going to land on your feet, you're going to be able to negotiate more money, more benefits, okay? So it's the wheel of fortune is here. It's time for this change. All right, Leo. Let's see where this is going. Let's see what the universe wants to say. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Let's see. We have guilt. I release any belief that no longer assists in my soul's growth. So not holding yourself back because big changes are happening here. You've dealt with a lot of karmic um, debt and you should not feel guilty about letting the universe, you know, bring in new things for you and allow this course correction, especially when it comes to your job. It's like, you know, you kind of feel bad that all this is happening, but you have to take care of you. You have to take care of you. And I feel with these, these other offers coming into you, you're going to be in a better position um it, definitely a better emotional and, and mental state okay but it's time for change and it is time for your soul to grow you've had a lot of lessons already and there's more but it's better it's not not such harsh lessons especially when it comes to love all right leo that's what's going on i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. And I'll leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.